Happy Thanksgiving, first off, because I won't see any of you. But I hope you get some good food. How does it feel this year to be able to actually have a little Thanksgiving? Uh, I mean, you're thankful for sure, but you're, we're so conditioned to not really have too many holidays, you know what I'm saying? Because just with the time and the schedule, but uh, something to be thankful for, you know? Uh, as you grow into this league, you get used to just not having holidays. So when you have them, it's like, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? I could not get used to this, but I could get used to this. So I appreciate it. You look at Philadelphia's mm -hmm. uh, secondary, obviously led by Slay. What mm -hmm. do you see on tape and the challenges that, that they provide here offense? Great defense. Um, obviously, uh, their defense is well coached, um, very skillful players, especially in the back end. And then, you know, obviously their interior uh, on the D-line speaks for itself. You know, they're very active up front and they um, they get after the quarterback. So it's going to be big for us to, on, on the outside, being on the same page, uh, timing with everything and really uh, playing what you see. But obviously, you know, uh, Darius State's been in the league for a long time. Got a lot of respect for him. Uh, definitely, uh, I, don't say, I don't say it often, but he's definitely one of the top corners in the league and has been for a long time. I used to play him all the time in Minnesota. So I got a lot of respect for him. We used to see him twice a year. So, uh, you know, those in-division battles, um, they're, they're, they're hard. So we had a lot of fun competing at a high level, so I look forward to it again. Um, but even the odd guy opposite, opposite of him is definitely a ball, ball player too. So, you know, it's going to be definitely one of those weeks, and uh, you got to capitalize on opportunities. You know what I'm saying? You can't miss out on them with teams like this because, you know, their offense can score and their defense does play, you know, at a high level. So we got to bring our best. Yeah, first of all, we'll just talk about how you kind of talked to them before the Broncos game mm -hmm. to beat himself. And yeah. Like, not overthinking and that kind of thing. Why'd you do that? And like, mm -hmm. I guess what have your impressions been of him? And yeah, why did you do something? Yeah, for me, uh, kind of really leads back just to being a captain. And I know he had been here in such a short span of time. Um, but I try to tell guys like something I had to learn very early on to be yourself. You know what I'm saying, uh, and in his circumstance, we brought you here in the middle of the year. Uh, we obviously they obviously watched you for a long time. Be yourself, don't be, be you. You don't gotta be nobody else. And I understand like when you're going into a new scheme, new coaching, um, it's better when you're just playing. You know what I'm saying when you're thinking and trying to get calls and trying to get this. Obviously, it can be a little harder, but you don't get to just play football. And you know that's what obviously jumped out on the tape and. Uh, from what I've seen on it from him, you know, throughout the year. So for me, uh, I had talked about before the game, and you know what I'm saying I, I like to tell our DBs that you see some of the best receivers in the league in practice. Like, um, and I say that from the most humble place, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? You get the best work in practice, and it shouldn't be a surprise when you get out here. And those guys go out there and play with confidence at a very, very high level. So uh, just me breathing confidence into my teammates, I feel like the biggest thing at this point in my career is not only, you know what I'm saying, playing with confidence myself, but making those around me better. And I, I saw it last. I saw that last game when I talked to him. I said, listen, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You see some of the best receivers uh, day in and day out, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, they got some talent over there, but, you know what I'm saying? Make them earn it. And I saw one of the, I saw the route that he sat on, and I was like, this, yeah, make them earn it. You know what I'm saying? They got to earn it. Make them go by you. Uh, you know, because our defense is a, they try to say bend, don't break, but those guys, those guys are out there playing ball, playing ball at a high level. So when I saw him jumping, I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? He, he, took, he took a little bit of the advice. I, I see him out there hooping. From a leadership, from a leadership standpoint, was that more, is it because he's, like, since he's on the defense, you work more offensively, mm -hmm. is it because he's new? Is it because you go up against DBs? No, hell no. Nah. It's, it's more so, um, I have a soft spot for DBs because I always say I was, I'm a DB at heart, but more so because I don't play defense. I don't spend a lot of time with those guys. So um, when I can try to interject or put a battery in their back, I'm, I'm front and center for it. And uh, as you can see, like on the sideline, when the defense is, playing well and making plays, I get really excited because I feel like uh, deep down inside I'm a part of the defense even though I'm not. Yeah, what does it mean to have a, a performance, a result like last week with everything the team went through with a change of coordinator and all that to maybe build on looking toward the like Uh I can't speak for anybody else. I can say uh, we're not by any means, it's no right to ship moment, more so of getting back on course and on schedule. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, week in and week out, it's ebbs and flows of the season. You know, people, they love you one week, they say you're trash the next. Uh, it's just how this thing goes for us. Uh, try not to ride that roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? I kind of, I kind of, talked about it last week and as I pivot now it's more so like those small things you see those small things in the game we're, we're a little bit more tighter on you know what I'm saying like I, we had a couple of miscues but just having that positivity and you know turning the page like when something happens all right well turn the page how fast can you turn the page and how fast can you get back to executing at a high level so um more so for me I just take it as in let's get the ball rolling you know what I'm saying of course uh, you want to win week in and week out and it's hard 
But for us, uh, I don't take it as a right to ship them more. So we get on schedule. You know what I'm saying? Get back on schedule. Get back to being us. Uh, get back to having fun. Last week, I feel like the past couple weeks, uh, I'm not saying I wasn't having fun, but I wasn't having the most fun. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this past game, you can kind of see it. The energy out there was different, especially when because we, we're at home. Uh, it's different when we're away. But when we're at home, bringing that juice and bringing that energy that the team actually needs, you know what I'm saying, on all, all ends. This might play into this a little bit, but there was a clip of your quarterback on the sideline. I think it was after Khalil's touchdown. Yeah. It's kind of made the rounds where, and I won't quote him exactly. What do you say? Say it. Yeah. Right now, <laughs> say it. What do you say? Said, uh, say it. I feel like I'm back. I'm that doesn't sound like him. What do you say? <laughs> say it. Yeah. The cameras are rolling, It's explicit. Right? Yeah. I feel like I'm <laughs> back. So uh, was he giving off that vibe on the sideline on Sunday? Yeah. Did you get... Did you get that sense from him that he felt yeah. that way? Why I, feel, I feel like the energy, you know, when I when I bring it all full circle, it's just the energy. And when it's coming from your quarterback, like it's, you know, we had a conversation last week and, you know, throughout the past week when things were just weren't going so, so well. Uh, he had like a moment where he told us, like, listen, if I'm acting like beep, and just tell me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I need it to shake me up a little bit because, you know, uh, we all kind of get into this moment of, you know, you want to do everything right. And I can imagine how hard it is at quarterback. But he told us, like, look, look at me. If I'm not doing X, Y, Z, just tell me. You know what I'm saying? I, I need it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, sometimes I need a little push in the back in the most uh, nicest way I can say it or a foot in the ass in another way. But uh, he does such a great job. So um, this past week, you saw that energy. So I'm getting back to having fun and having, like, a little bit more of a clear mind. And he was making great decisions. Um, um, and that kind of goes hand in hand. I feel like execution brings energy. So uh, him executing at a high level brought that uh, brought that Josh that we know and love back. And you know, seeing him at the top of his game is definitely something that interjects. Like it's something in all of a, all of our veins on offense. Like all right, all right, I see you 17. You know what I'm saying you might want to do a little bit more extra. And it's just it's just natural. It's not so much that um, you're trying to do it, but it's like this, damn, you feeding off some energy from your quarterback. There was another clip from, from Sunday where you went up to Dalton on the sideline and you're like, I wasn't sure about you at first, but I, but I, I love you now. What has he done to yeah. earn the respect of not only you, but just everybody else on the team? For me, like, you know, especially with young guys, like, I'm not the nicest, you know what I'm saying, just because I know how the rules is. Like, when I was younger, they weren't the nicest to me, but I understood why. And when I think about it now, it's just like, as a young player, they – you want them to earn their respect. I don't care how nice they are. And Don Kincaid is the sweetest soul. You know what I'm saying he's a good, he's a good ass guy. So like at the end of the day, nobody cares about that. I want you to earn your keep. I want to see what you are as a player. And uh, like you can ask him yourself if you if y'all interview him. He just got a handshake like last week. You know what I'm saying like I feel like the handshake is important. He didn't. He got a usual just regular uh, running the mill dap up because like for me I feel like you got to earn a handshake you got to make some plays and I and I like his game I told you I like this game in camp and he's shown that uh, put the money on black I guess or put the money on Dalton you know what I'm saying I guess on the betting world I forgot how to say it but I trust him and I like him so he got his little handshake we'll see how it goes I might have to revoke it depending on how he plays the next Where'd couple weeks uh, after a couple weeks you know what I'm saying I seen him take a couple hits seen him get up I seen him catch some passes. I'm like, he's all right. I feel like you said something similar to us about Khalil. Maybe yeah, last hell summer. yeah. Because we were yeah. hey, Khalil, because we talked about him every day. Well, yeah. last week he made a really, really big play mm -hmm. for the team. How have you seen him evolve into the added opportunity? It's just I preach to him each and every week, whether you get one opportunity one opportunity or 20, make sure you're taking advantage. You know what I'm, saying? I'm saying I'm coming from a different scope of things, especially on mine. I'm like, listen, you don't know how many opportunities you get. When you get those opportunities, take full advantage because I've been a young player with uh, limited opportunities. I've been a young player with a lot. You know what I'm saying? It depends on week to week on how the scheme is. But uh, he's another likable guy. As you know, this team is full of likable guys, but um, I always tell them likable guys don't win. You know what I'm saying I want I want I want you to be a dog full time too. So uh, see, keep the nice home with your wife. So <laughs> you mentioned um, Dalton Kincaid and everything he's earned on Khalil's big touchdown. Mm -hmm. He had that block too. What did you see rewatching that play? And what was your yeah. role on that play? Josh mentioned you know what you were doing. Yeah, listen, I was on the back side um, when I see the guy spring free. Like I saw him catching the ball. I saw Sauce kind of took like a. Not a bad angle, but not not a favorable that if he was he was either going to make the play or he was going to miss it. So uh, I seen him take off, and I see Dalton. Like we've been preaching all week um, for the past like four weeks, um, run to the ball. Like you just never know what's going to happen. And as, obviously you've seen it on defense as well too. And if I'm a recovery by Tim time, like guys running to the ball, guys. Uh, 
coach considers it it's a loaf if you have a change of pace. Like if you weren't already running fast, it's a loaf. So uh, as you can see, we kind of being a little bit more active on tape, and I think it brings another brings another layer of energy as well when you're running to the ball and you're picking guys off the ground. Like um, it just shows you that you you I mean you're out there fighting with your brother, you're right there with him, and if you get knocked down, I got your back. But to celebrate those touchdowns together is real real special because it's hard to score in the National Football League, and when one guy does, we all do. Steph, you talked. Yep. I promised you one. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Last one. All right. Uh, I think it was last week, the week before, you said if you want to have fun, go to the local ice cream shop. Like, you yeah. guys seem to be having fun. And yeah. I know that momentum is only as good as your last play. And you have to turn the page. But you talked a lot about energy and fun. Mm -hmm. Can you carry over energy from last week to this week? Is that something that you can tangibly move with you? Yeah, it's more so um, the, the preparation process. Like, we got to having fun by preparing during the week and going out there and executing, executing, bringing energy and just the players and like Josh, all that kind of works in tandem. But I say it always is some carryover. Like when you win, you want to get some snowball effect to get another one and get another win and try to put them, build them up in the win column because obviously you can see we kind of been just like win, lose, win, lose or whatever, how it been. But for me, I feel like you can carry it over, but you more so carry over the preparation process. That preparation process is key. Um, and I feel like uh, I give a Shout out real, it's real early, but I give a shout out to Coach Brady on bringing a lot of the juice. I think he drinks a lot of coffee and a lot of monsters or whatever the uh, <laughs> the brand is because he brings a lot of juice and he lets you know that if y'all don't got it, I'm gonna bring it for you. So, I mean, it's it's obviously working and um, let's keep it going. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you.